audio to your slide rocket presentations. I'm using a template that I got from the Get Inspiration tab from the main slide rocket page. So just to sort of pop back, if you come over here and click Get Inspiration, it'll bring you to this long list of presentations that you can download and use. I uh, have chosen the charts and diagrams one just because I think it's sort of a fun design and shows you some of the interesting things you can do. Um, once you have your presentation already set, uh, the thing to do is to go to the View tab and then click Show Notes. What that'll do is it'll pop up an area for you here at the bottom where you can type in your speaker notes. And you can open this up as large as you want depending on how much text that you have. Um, I'm just going to type in some um, quick text just to sort of show you that you know you could imagine that that's what it would look like. Um, as you're going through and adding these into each slide, uh, once you're ready to record, you just need to come over and click the audio um, item on the left sidebar. And this is going to bring up a menu here at the bottom. Uh, to record, you're just going to click the record button and it'll show you. Um, right now, you can see that as I'm talking, the microphone is picking up my voice, so that's a good sign. Um, another just sort of tip that I've noticed, if you record at a full 100% input level, it can get a little canny and tinny and echoey. I know there are a few of the lectures that you've listened to that are like that. I actually like to try it at about 70%. It's not a science, so you can just sort of drag it a little bit back. You can always increase the input level uh, if you need to after the fact. So once I do that, um, when I'm ready to record, uh, I would hit the Start Recording button. I'm going to do this as a test just so you can hear it. Um, I will hit it, I'll say my text, and then I'll hit Cancel when I'm done. This would be the text that I would be reading in order to record some audio over my slide. So if you noticed, it gave me a countdown and then I got to hit stop. Uh, once it has recorded the text, it's got it, uh, the audio here sort of showing on the bottom. And if you want to listen to it, uh, you can click the little preview button and I'll click the preview and let you hear it. If for some reason it's not exactly what you want, you can always clear it out and start again. So I might clear it. Yes, I'm sure I want to delete the audio. It was a little longer than I needed. Um, and I can try again. This is all I need to say. And again, you'll see it's there. Nice, quick, and efficient. I can move to the next slide. It'll automatically be saving. You can see it here, um, up here in the top right corner when it's saving. I can move on to the second one. This one has some builds, so it's prompting me that as I go through it, um, if I want to synchronize the builds, as I'm reading the slide, I can click my mouse and it will uh, bring in the additional items as I'm reading. So I'm going to just do a, a quick one for you here and I'll say yes. The topic of this slide is social media explained. Facebook is I like to run. Twitter is I'm running now. YouTube, look at me. And Foursquare, I ran here, noting location. So again, you can see that uh, in the, the bottom column, or excuse me, the bottom row, it's showing you where the builds are, build set one and build set two. If for some reason the builds weren't the way that you wanted, uh, you can go back in and resync the builds uh, without having to re-record the audio. You can just click it. Um, all of that, it, it, if you get into these more advanced, more complicated features, there's tons of help, um, and you can click to search here at the top through the uh, Slide Rocket forums and the help contents. I don't think most of you will need that, but it's available for you. It's got a lot of powerful tools if you want to do something a little bit more advanced. But on a basic level, that's how to record slides, and if you ever want to hear it, you can just go down here, click Preview. You can also preview from doing uh, the view if you want to play from start or play from current slide. And I'll let the last couple minutes of this just show you what happens when you do a preview.